Lymph is the fluid derived from extracellular fluid as it circulates inside the lymphatic vessels to evacuate cell waste. Lymph nodes are a small swelling in the lymphatic system that have a high concentration of white blood cells and that filter lymph. They are the battlegrounds where the body fights its enemies. Lymphatic vessels are the tubes that circulate lymph. They have thin walls and include valves. White blood cells are small transparent cells that circulates through the blood and lymph. Its main job is to fight pathogens and it has two ways to defend the body. The first way is phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is the mechanism whereby white blood cells ingest and destroy certain microorganisms. It surrounds the pathogen with its body and then digests it. The second way is by the secretion of antibodies. The white blood cells secrete specific antibodies to attack a specific antigen to neutralize it, so it will secrete many antibodies to attack that antigen. The antibodies will surround the pathogen and attach to it and then destroy it. Extracellular fluid is a clear liquid that surrounds our cells and contains water and other substances from blood plasma. It also contains white blood cells. The lymphatic system picks up waste from cells and then returns it to the blood for it to be expelled. It also carries white blood cells for it to defend the body. It works by retrieving the waste from the cells by the extracellular fluid, which enters the lymphatic vessels and is then considered as lymph. The lymph then flows to a lymph node to be filtered. It is moved by muscle contractions. The lymph node is filled with white blood cells to destroy antigens and dumps the waste into the blood. The lymph goes into the blood and is now considered as plasma. Lymph is moved by muscle contractions in the lymphatic vessels. It has valves to keep it flowing in the right direction. Blood is moved by a pump, which is the heart, through the blood vessels. There are three vessels, arteries, capillaries, and veins, but only the veins have valves. The lymphatic system is an open circuit, as the circulatory system is a closed circuit. The lymphatic system only has one type of vessel, and that is the lymphatic vessel. It has thin walls and include valves. The circulatory system has three different types of vessels. Arteries, which has thick walls and no valves. Veins, which has thinner than the arteries, but also include valves. And capillaries, who have the thinnest walls, but include no valves. The lymphatic system uses lymph, and the circulatory system uses blood. Lymph will become full of waste, so it will move to a lymphatic node to be filtered into the blood. It is then considered as plasma. The blood will then transport the waste into the excretory system and gather nutrients and oxygen. Antibodies are a substance secreted by white blood cells to neutralize invaders. Antibodies are very specific. They can only recognize the antigens for which they were produced for. This means that a different antibody needs to be produced for each new antigen. The white blood cells remember, sometimes for a lifetime, how to produce a particular antibody. That is why we have certain diseases only once in our lives. Antigens are a substance recognized as foreign by the body and that triggers the white blood cells defense mechanism. Being immune to something is the capacity to resist a disease to which we have been exposed by being able to fight off the infectious agent that causes the disease. A vaccine is a prepared substance that is able to immune an organism against one or several diseases. There are two types of vaccines, live vaccines and inactive vaccines. Live vaccines are a type of vaccines where the agent is still alive but has been chemically treated to render it harmless. Inactive vaccines are vaccines developed only using a part or parts of an infectious agent that can still be recognized by the body. The lymphatic system is an open circuit and the circulatory is a closed circuit.